revolution will be live. 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 Hello everyone, uh, Legendary Savage Gamer here. I'm sorry for the change of the YouTube name, but GTR Gaming, it was it was a nice run with it, but mostly that's used for racing and I wasn't going to do just strictly racing games. So I just went back to my old name, just added Legendary to it. But anyways, I am getting a lot of requests on RetroArch how to play the dolphin emulator on steam and if that's what you guys want to do you guys came to the right video and I will show you that this works with no issues I haven't had any issues and if this is what you guys are wanting to do on steam to play RetroArch, like I said you came to the right video and Stay tuned for the tutorial. Step one, I'm pretty sure you guys already know this, if you guys already made it this far. Um, obviously go on Steam and download RetroArch, Arch, however you pronounce it. I'm not judging on how you pronounce it, don't matter. But make sure you download it on Steam, it is free. And if you guys can't get it onto your store, I will link it in the description below. And I will also show you guys that the the Dolphin emulator is not on here, but PlayStation 1 is Nintendo 64. But as you can see, the Dolphin emulator is not on here. The PS2 emulator is not on here. And as you've seen in my last video that I showed you guys how to get the PS2 emulator on RetroArch Arch on PC. So this is step one. Like I said, I will leave a link in the description how to get to this if you guys can't get it on your Steam store. Alright, what you guys want to do is you want to type in Dolphin Emulator on Google. And you want to click the very first link. And click download. And then you want to click the beta version. But I already have it, so I'm not going to download it. And after you download it, then you want to go to your downloads you want to extract it and after you extract it then you want to click and open it go to Dolphin 64 you want to highlight click and highlight hit copy or cut whatever you prefer hit copy then you want to go to wherever your steam directory is so go to steam steam apps common retro arc or RetroArch, however you pronounce it. Then you want to go to System. And what you have to do is create a new folder in here called Dolphin-Emu. After you do that, open up the folder. Then you want to click Paste. Once pasted, you want to go back. Go back one more time. And you want to go to the vi latest video that I posted. How to get the PCSX2, the PlayStation 2 emulator on RetroArch, RetroArch, however you want to pronounce it, and go into my my description and look for my cores pack. And you want to click download. You want to download my cores pack that I posted. And once you're done, once you're done downloading the cores, then you want to go to downloads. You want to extract it. After you extract it, then you want to copy the cores folder, and then go back in the Steam directory, go to Steam Apps, then go to Common, and then go to RetroArch, and then you want to paste it. And once you're done pasting it, then you open up Cores, then you want to go to Downloads again, and you want to extract the Dolphin Emulator Core that I have given you guys, 
then you want to open it. You want to copy or cut, however you prefer. If it already has a Dolphin Core in here, you want to replace it because this is the latest version of the Dolphin Core. Once you're done with that, hit refresh. We close that. And then, all right, what you guys want to do after you open up Steam again, you want to go to RetroArch. Then you guys want to go to Import Content. Go to Manual Scan. Go to Content Directory. Go to wherever your GameCube folder is. And go to wherever your ISO folders are. Then hit Scan This Directory. Then you want to go to System Name. Look for Nintendo GameCube. Oops, wrong one. Then you want to go to Default Core and look for Dolphin. Then you want to go all the way down and hit Start Scan. Once the scan is complete, then once you go down, you will see the GameCube controller has loaded. And, and then your GameCube games will have fully loaded. I am not going to show you in this video how to get those games. But I do legally own these copies. I have physical copies of these games. So and I will show you guys that it works and I hope you guys enjoyed liked and enjoyed this video and if you did please leave a comment if you guys have any issues please be sure to let me know what goes wrong and I will try to comment as as much as possible as I can and I will get back to you guys in the next video